Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWave-Focus.com YouTube channel. This is Henry and today is um, Thursday, November 12th. Uh, the time is around 3 a.m. GMT. So here we are looking at the chart of the US dollar yen. It's a 45 minutes chart. Uh, it's a short term one. We can see right here we ended B with B right here at 103.1 and that means we are currently in the with C in the uh, minor degree okay to the upside uh, and we can see the with C should be subdivided into five waves uh, and we will be looking to end with one of C right in the uh, minute degree so we will be looking to finish with one of C very soon and then from there we can get a pullback in the form of uh, three waves pullback to correct this entire five waves rally okay uh, before the next leg higher again afterwards right so for now uh, the way we see in the market now is trading with a risk appetite or risk on mode uh, I mean in, in the company we call it the indices uh, dynamic in which you you see both uh, the US dollar yen and the indices they can trade or rally higher together and over here um, the same concept that we're looking for more upside in the indices the same way here in the US dollar yen we can also look for potentially uh, more upside as long as we stay above 103.1 here in the pullback now if we look a little bit um, in the higher degree US dollar yen is a little bit choppy this is the daily chart you can see pretty choppy overall right now uh, we can place the B here that we see uh, before in the short term cycle short term time frame at 103 we can place it here this is the B and that means this is our A here right and we're looking for some sort of a some sort of a flat pattern right some sort of a flat pattern that starts from here that starts from September 21st uh, and we should be looking for an ABC uh, expanded flat uh, in which the C is in progress now so overall this is called to be a corrective uh, structure as an expanded flat in the larger degree and uh, is still correcting this decline overall from March 31st right so this decline here is being corrected as a flat and as long as the pullback stays above this B again we can extend higher again uh, the rally does look impulsive here if, if we can see this one it does look impulsive so um, alternate let's say if we don't get another extension higher uh, because I can also draw a trend line here and uh, we are kind of uh, bumping into this trend line here now if we don't break above the trend line and starts to completely reverse for any reason uh, then we could potentially uh, call this as a running flat uh, a running flat means the C leg does not break above the previous A leg expanded flat uh, it will break it, but if it in a running flat we can have a flat like this ending C here and then starts to turn lower right so that will be uh, sort of the alternate but other than that uh, this rally looks impulsive and therefore uh, as long as the pullback stays above 103 now in the US dollar yen uh, we could see for the upside again uh, over here alright so that's the update here now uh, this last push higher in the shorter cycle is not very very um, important it can it may or may not happen right it may or may not happen now I mean you can always try to label it like this if you have to let's say calling it completed and then already starting the with two so that last push higher here is not very important but the idea is that uh, the whole entire rally looks impulsive uh, similar to the indices and as long as the pullback stays above 103.1 you can see further upset in the US dollar yen okay so hope this is clear and as always if you want to check our service or uh, look for further updates on the US dollar yen or other forex pairs indices commodities uh, feel free to try our service we have 14 days uh, free trial 
and the link is provided in the description of the video below so i'll see you all again tomorrow and have a nice day everyone